Let's use our imagination real quick. Just picture yourself waking up in the morning, having a nice cup of coffee, taking a short drive to the beach, having a beautiful morning walk, watching the sunrise. And then you go have a beautiful day with boutique restaurants in the city. And by the end of the day, you come home and what you find is that you have your property waiting for you with peace and quiet. And at the same time, the other side of your property is creating passive income. Let's go take a look. For anybody new to this channel, my name is Renzo Montiuti, and in this channel, we go all over Central Florida. We look at resale homes, investment properties, new construction homes, and that is what we're here for, my friends, to be completely transparent with you guys and give you all the information you need to know. So in today's video, my friends, we are here in front of one of the best built duplexes that I have seen in a very long time, my friends. This is gonna come with all modern finishes, turf grass in the front yard and the backyard, and I'm super excited to get here and show you guys this one. So today we are here in Edgewater, Florida, my friends. And to give you guys a perspective on where this is located, we are only 15 minutes away from New Smyrna Beach. And for anybody who's been watching my channel, you know for a fact New Smyrna Beach is my personal favorite place to visit on my weekends when I have time off, when I'm really looking for just a place to relax, wind down and clear my mind. So this home is only 15 minutes away in New Smyrna Beach. You're gonna have a lot of authentic restaurants. You're gonna have Mexican, you're gonna have Italian, and then you're gonna have streets like Flagler Avenue, which are gonna give you all those options in one, beautiful boutique shops. And most of all, I just want you, when you see those movies, and you see the beautiful beach towns, New Smyrna Beach is exactly that. The beaches are beautiful, the sand is white, the water is clear, it's good for surfing on specific days of the week, and it's also a good place to surf, my friends. So New Smyrna Beach has a lot of good stuff. Then 25 minutes away, we are going to have Daytona Beach, my friends. Daytona is one of the world-renowned beaches here in the state of Florida. People come from all over the world to come see this place. New Smyrna and Daytona are kind of just right next to each other. Uh, New Smyrna is a little further south, Daytona is further north, and in Daytona you're going to have a more touristic beach city. You're also going to have the Daytona Speedway, which hosts the Daytona 500 for all of their events. Now on a more grand scale, we're going to have the metropolitan city of Orlando one hour away. Orlando is a beautiful city, that's where I was born and raised, and Orlando has a lot of good stuff to offer. First of all, you're going to have the parks and attractions of Disney, only an hour to an hour and 15 minutes away. You're also going to have the international airport only an hour away. Orlando also offers a beautiful downtown where you're going to have a lot of boutique restaurants, you're going to have Lake Eola, which has farmer's markets on the weekend. Orlando really just brings everything into one. So this location, this home, really gives you the best of both worlds. You're 15 minutes from the beach, so if you like to see the sunrise, you can go do so at New Smyrna. A huge recommendation. And then if you wanna go spend a beautiful weekend in the city, you have Orlando, you have Disney, you have Universal, very close by. Now, talking a little more specifically on this property, my friends, this home is gonna feature a duplex. Each unit is gonna have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,344 square feet, and the total lot size is 0.23 acres, my friends. This is gonna come with all the beautiful finishes, and I am so excited to show you. Now, at the end of this tour, I'm gonna to be breaking down all the numbers, the price, the taxes, how much this can rent out for. This home has no HOA, no CDD, so you can cross that right off of the list, and nobody can tell you what you can and can't do with your piece of land. With that, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and get inside. Let's get started. Before we do so, hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, so you're up to date with all of my newest content. Let's take a look. So here we are in front of the property, ladies and gentlemen, and as you can see, 
this is beautiful. First thing I wanna to touch on is you're gonna have this beautiful landscaping. You're gonna have this turf here at the front of the property. So if you really just wanna come out here in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, whatever it is, lay down a towel, sunbathe. You can get a nice tan during the day. This is a really long extended garage. This is a one car garage, first of all. You're gonna have a very nice and long extended driveway. This is gonna give you a little bit of space so you can park your boat out here as well. So if you are somebody who wants to take advantage of the beach and the ocean and the inner coastal go fishing you have your boat right over there you're gonna have the nice stone palm trees in the front orange tree as well and just the exterior looks beautiful you're gonna have the nice wood accents this looks like a very a beautiful modern townhome my friends so let's get inside So here we are stepping into the home and the really cool feature I wanna show you first, my friends, is right here at the front of the door, we're gonna have a nice screen. So when it is a winter here in Florida, us Floridians, it's gonna be 60, 70 degrees and that is pretty chilly for us, but it brings in all that fresh air, my friends. So when it does hit winter time, honestly, during the day, I'd leave this door open, keep the screen closed. So no bugs are getting in, but you're getting all that cool air, my friends. So. Now, stepping into the home, right next to the front door, we're gonna have the entrance into. You're gonna have plenty, of, a little bit of storage space. You're gonna have your car right there. You're gonna have your uh, tankless water heater. So you're gonna be able to run hot water all day long if you, if you wanted to. And an entrance into the side yard, my friends. That can take you out to the back as well. And then right over here, we step into the kitchen, my friends. This kitchen just really, really, grabs your attention right away. You're gonna have this nice extended island. You're gonna have nice wood cabinets uh, with gold handle fixtures, soft clothes as well on all the cabinets. Something really cool to, to touch on is they have the gray down below and then they have the white shaker cabinets down above. So it kind of gives you the offset gray and then the white feature. You can have nice light fixtures hanging above the island over the farmhouse sink. This whole entire island and countertop is gonna be quartz. And truly something beautiful about this kitchen is you're gonna have this double farmhouse sink, but you're gonna have this nice window just overlooking the front yard. You can look at your orange tree. You can look at the palm trees and all the nature around you and surrounding this duplex. These are gonna be the kitchen appliances coming with the home. Here's gonna be your stove, microwave, refrigerator, all general electrics, my friends. Now stepping out of the kitchen here, we're gonna have our nice cute little pantry. You're gonna be able to store all your food, all your kitchen utensils, so you can make that good, nice cup of coffee every morning. Another thing I wanna to touch on, these are eight foot, 100% wood doors, my friend. You're also gonna have that gold accent handles that's gonna be coming and you're gonna see that theme throughout the entirety of the property. Now, as we step out of the kitchen, we're gonna have this nice kind of space for our dining area for a breakfast nook. So when you wake up in the morning, this is gonna be the space you're gonna be to utilize to enjoy your first meal of the day. Now, as we step backwards, we are coming into the living space, my friends. We have luxury vinyl plank throughout the entirety of the home. You're gonna have a nice space from where your couch is gonna be located to the TV, the surround system. Beautiful fan fixture that's gonna be coming in this property. And one cool thing that's gonna convey as well is this beautiful mirror right on this wall. So this is coming with the home. And right over here, you'll have these floating shelves that will be coming with the property as well. So this is a really dynamic open floor plan, especially for a duplex. It feels incredibly large. And now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the bedrooms. So over here, we're gonna step into our very first room. Now, as we step in here, this, we're gonna have that continued luxury vinyl plank, waterproof and scratch resistant. This is gonna be 11 by 10 feet. You're gonna have nice eight foot doors. This one's gonna be white for your closet space, my friends. This is already gonna have all of its shelving. So once you move in, you don't have to, you're gonna be able to store things a lot better, really be able to fit more stuff into your closet because it's already uh, has a pre-made shelving, my friends. You're gonna have the nice fan fixture. You're gonna have a nice window overlooking the south side of the property to the backyard and now, as we step out, we're gonna step into the master bedroom. Here in this master bedroom, we're gonna have tons of natural light. We're gonna have a window over here facing the east side of the home. We're gonna have two windows facing the south side of the property into the backyard. And in between that, we have our king 
size bed. This is, gives you plenty of space. You have plenty of walking space on the sides as well. Here is where you're gonna be able to set up your drawers and your TV if you'd like one. And then here you're gonna have your nice fan picture. The fan pictures are gonna be different from here in the guest bedroom that we came into. So it's nice to kind of have a change of scenery um, in each room as well. In this closet also have that kind of pre-made storage, my friend. So it makes it very nice and easy when you do move in, get everything stored right away. Now let's check out the master bath. So as we step into the master bath, we're gonna have this nice granite countertop, the navy blue cabinets with the gold accent fixtures, nice mirror right above, nice light fixtures. Our toilet is gonna be right over here. And then we're gonna have our walk-in shower with the porcelain backsplash, my friends. This is something just really modernistic. It's clean, it feels fresh when you're in here. And this really bathroom really has it all. So let's get out and we're gonna check out the last bedroom and bathroom of this home. So here we are stepping into the final guest bedroom of the home. We're gonna have the LVP, nice fan picture. This is gonna be 11 by 10 feet as well. Window facing the east side of the home. Here's gonna be your closet, nice eight foot doors as well. Then right over here, my friends, we're gonna have our second bathroom of the home. It's gonna have similar finishes. The only difference is this is gonna be a bathtub instead of the walk-in shower, which is nice. You're also gonna have that clean porcelain backsplash. Here we're gonna have our quartz countertop and cabinets down below with silver handle fixtures instead of the gold. Wow, look at that. Now stepping into the laundry room, which is right next to the bathroom, we're gonna have nice cabinet space above. Here's where your washer and dryer are gonna be set. And these may or may not convey with the property depending on where the movers move. If they get their appliances for them at the next house, they will leave these here. So just to be determined. Now, my friends, let's go ahead and take a look at the land on this home. Now, stepping outside, my friends, this is truly one of the most incredible things about this unit on the duplex. You're going to have the nice turf flooring, also have your fire pit. This is everything you can ask for in a duplex, my friends. This whole entire property is going to be fenced in by a nice wood fence. And this really is the dream, my friends. Right now, it's about 84 degrees with a very nice breeze. And it feels so nice just relaxing out back. You have a lot of privacy as well. One major thing I want to talk about is we are here in Florida. We do get rain. We do get hurricanes. And it's always a big question about flooding. So on this home, they do grade the home. So it is elevated higher than the streets. So all the water is going to be naturally running away from the home. And also here, we're going to have a gutter that all of this water is going to be running to the front of the street where you're going to have your draining system on the road. So we just had two years of about two to three hurricanes each hurricane season. And this house had no flooding, no issues at all, no standing water, which is the most important thing. So this is safe. This is close. The insurance definitely takes into consideration all the upgrades that has came with this home and how safe it actually is. So this has an estimated life expectancy of 50 years, my friends. So it's going to help with insurance rates as well. Now, my friends, we're going to go take a look at the other unit, run through it really quickly so you can get a good idea of the condition of the next unit. Let's go. Now here we are stepping into the unit next door, my friends. And one quick thing, this unit is currently rented out month to month to a tenant. They're renting it for about $1,700 per month. Right now, the rental comps on this, if you were looking to do long-term rentals, is about 2,000 to 2,200 per month, my friends. So they are having this lower rate, but they've had someone since the start that they absolutely love. And it was right before that COVID time. So they found a good tenant and you know, in, if there are any investors out there, you know how important having a good tenant is. So with that being said, this is their unit. You're gonna have the nice quartz countertop, same cabinetry, same finishes. All the kitchen appliances will be coming with the home. Right over here, you're gonna have your laundry, bedroom, and bathroom. So right over here, you're gonna have the same exact layout. Here's gonna be your bedroom, here's gonna be your laundry room, and here is gonna be your bathroom. Now we get back in here, we're gonna have that same layout, the dining area, breakfast nook, living space. And now we step into the master bedroom. 
All the condition of this other unit has been literally, it looks like the owners have been taking care of it and how good shape it is. These tenants have done an incredible job. It looks fantastic in good condition. We do have a different fan fixture above, same windows. Here's gonna be your closet space. Now, right over here, we're gonna have our bathroom, the same layout, the same color scheme that you had in the master on the other side, granite countertop, navy blue cabinets, gold trim, walk-in shower, boom. Now, let's get to the next bedroom. Now we're go coming in across into the next and last guest bedroom of the home, 11 by 10 feet, same size, same dimensions, and most of all, in great condition, window facing the south side of the home. Now, let's go ahead, get into the backyard. Stepping into the backyard, my friends, same turf, concrete right over there, and then our fireplace right over here. This is also gonna have the same gutter system. So all the water is draining out away from this property, my friends. To the side of the home, we're gonna also have a little extra space. So if you wanted to park your boat, you wanna park anything back here, you can even park a car. You have good space on both sides of this duplex. You could even create a little extra space. You could, I would recommend putting a hot tub out here. So, you know, if you were at the beach all day and it gets a little chilly at night, you can get in that hot tub, really enjoy ending the hours of the day with your family so now my friends let's go ahead let's get inside and let's break down those numbers for you come on So here we are at the end of the tour, my friends, and I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have. This duplex is in such a good area. It's, it's really coming with all the bells and whistles, and I think you guys can see that for yourself. So now let's get into the pricing, the financing, and why this is an incredible investment for anybody out there. So first and foremost, this property is listed on the market today for $565,000, my friends. $565,000, this was built in 2021. A lot of the duplexes I was checking out that our new construction in the similar price range are gonna be only in like Hain City in Davenport area. And the thing is they're coming with maybe like not eight to 900 square feet per unit coming with none of the great finishes, eight foot ceilings. They don't have the 50 year roof. So the quality on this supersedes anything we've seen in the market in today's day here in Central Florida. 565,000 is the current list price on this duplex, my friends. So the estimated taxes, my friends, on this property is gonna be roughly around five to $6,000. Right now, the current owners homestead this property, meaning you, know, you can reduce about $50,000 off the taxable value of your home, but also, meaning, which is very important, that your taxes can only go up maximum 1% per year. So it saves you a ton of money. So right now, you know, they're at about 4,000, 4,500, but if you came in, got a fresh new tax bill, your estimated tax would be around five to $6,000. Now, let's go ahead and get into some numbers. Let's say you were interested in getting into this property and trying to find a few different ways to do so. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, one of the best ways to get in this property is with a conventional loan, my friends. A conventional loan on a property like this, if you're using it as a primary residence, meaning you're gonna live in one unit and then you're gonna rent out the other unit, you're only gonna have to put 5% down, my friends. So 5% down on 565,000 is gonna be roughly $28,250, my friends. That is gonna be your way to get into this property with the lowest amount of money down with a conventional loan. Now, let's say if there are any investors out there, let's say you're really looking to get into a property and, and run the good numbers. If you go 20% down on this property, which is what I would recommend for any investors out there so you can take out your private mortgage insurance, 565, 20% is gonna be 113,000, my friends. One of the biggest advantages of going conventional and you know putting 20% down instead of 15% down on an investment loan is because you're gonna be able to take out that private mortgage insurance, which could probably cost about two to $300 per month on this specific property. So if you are coming from the investment side, I'd recommend putting 20% down at the minimum on this home. Uh, if you're looking to maximize your return on investment. So with that being said, if there are any veterans out there 
right now you can utilize a VA loan and go zero money down on this property. So your down payment would be zero dollars. VA loans can get approved up to seven, fifty, eight hundred thousand. So you guys are in good hands. If you are looking for a duplex, live in one side, relax, live that peaceful life here in Edgewater, Florida, and rent out the other unit, getting some passive income, getting money coming in and paying for your mortgage. This could be a great option. Now, my friends, Airbnb. Airbnb is such a hot topic here in Florida. We are one of the biggest tourist destinations in the entire world. Orlando is the number one destination city in the entire world. We had over 70 to 75 million people visiting Orlando in 2022, my friends. So it just gives you a perspective of the amount of people coming into this area. With that being said, Airbnb is a huge attraction. A property like this, a duplex like this, you're gonna be able to rent out each unit for $200 $148 per night. Right now, there is going to be about a 57 to 60% occupancy rate on this property, meaning this will be able to rent out 57 to 60% of the year at $248 per night, my friends. Each unit is going to be able to generate around $52 to $55,000 per year. So that's going to be about $105 to $110,000 in revenue per year with a 57 to 60% occupancy. Now, we ran this comps with consideration that there had to be some sort of outdoor activity like a pool or a hot tub. So these comps are if you have a hot tub in the backyard. For me, it's a no brainer. I think every Airbnb is looking for some sort of, you know, end of the day activity. You know, whether you just went to the parks and attractions, whether you just went to the beach and want to relax for a little bit, you're going to need one of those kind of outdoor activities end the day off right with your family, your friends, with the people. And you're going to need a hot tub with those rental comps. So 248 per night, 57 to 60% of the year occupancy rate. And you're looking at around 105 to 110 thousand dollars in revenue per year now really depends on what your return on investment is going to be with your down payment uh, with the type of loan you're getting with uh, the interest rate how much you're buying it down if you're paying private mortgage insurance so i could give you rough numbers but what i really really recommend is get in contact with us we'll run the numbers with you we'll get you in touch with our lender to see what exactly what your monthly payment is going to look like my team and i we are the listing representatives on this home so if you have any questions at all any inquiries reach out to the Monty UT group at gmo.com or you can reach out to our company number right below. My friends, it has been a pleasure showing you this beautiful, beautiful duplex. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.